Wonder whether any of you will recognise this bit. This is my test route of when I used to get an exhaust system. I used to come here because the road is so quiet, but today I've been joined by Mr. AJ3. Andy has introduced me his brand new car. My RS6. Your RS6. <laughs> Sounds which, so weird saying. <laughs> your my RS6. Yeah. It is such a cool car. We are less than five minutes away from my house. You've just picked me up and I've just kept my mouth shut because I've got so many questions that I want to ask him. You have gone from a Vauxhall Corsa yep. to an Audi RS6. This man is a living <laughs> legend. So let's jump in and check out this beast, go for a drive and uh, chat to Andy about why he bought that particular car. I've been in this car for less than two minutes yeah. and we haven't really talked about it because I said I'm saving all of the questions for the camera. Yeah. Because firstly, you're my hero. <laughs> Why is that? You've gone from a <laughs> Corsa to an RS6. <laughs> a Vauxhall Corsa, which was a one point two, three, something like 1. that. One point two. Petrol or diesel? It was diesel. Diesel. I went in it once. It gets you about. It gets you about, it gets you from A to B. Whereas this kind of gets you from A to B in something slightly different. Yeah. You went from a Vauxhall Corsa to this car. From arguably the worst car in the world, still in production, to the best car in the world, still in production. <laughs> and I've just been driving around in a Bentley Bentayga for the last three or four days. Whilst I had a bit of a technical error in terms of filming, I was kind of saying that that was the ultimate daily, but yeah. then I was going to be spending time with this, which in my eyes is also the ultimate daily. I feel like they can share that trophy for now. Yeah. But... <laughs> I suppose what I didn't document, which you did, was we went down to Watford Audi to do a bit of car shopping, would you say three weeks ago? Three or four weeks ago? Maybe a little bit longer, but yeah. God, time. It was a while ago. It was a while ago. We drove an Audi RS5. Yeah. And you got in that car. Bearing in mind, I'd set this all up with the salesman. I was like, oh, he, he, he does want a car. I know that he's keen and he loves the RS5. He loves the interiors of all of the new Audis. And you got in there and he's like, oh, I've never driven an automatic before. <laughs> <laughs> and I think he shit himself a little bit. Talk to me about what it is like to go from a Vauxhall Corsa to this car in terms of walking out of your front door and having this car on your drive <laughs> rather than the Vauxhall Corsa. When I first seen it, Again, right. I didn't even think it was, it, do you know when you're, what's the way to put it? It just didn't feel like it was mine. I don't know, maybe when you wake up on Christmas and you've wanted, when you were like a kid and you've wanted the new PS3 forever and then you, you open it and you're not expecting to get one and then you yeah. open one on Christmas Day and you're like, and you don't even think it's yours and you yeah. don't know what to do and you're just like, what? It's kind of like, it was literally like Christmas, it was bizarre. I think what you have done is buy a car properly. The amount of research that you, that you spend to, yeah. to put into the car Firstly, I think you knew more about the options than the Audi guy did. Well, than I did, which is probably more than what the Audi guy did. Because every car that you saw on Auto Trader, you then went into the Audi configurator and specced it up as new. And so see that, how much it cost. So that you knew how much it cost, therefore you knew how much it depreciated it in the amount of time, therefore you knew how much money you needed to get off. So this is now kind of turning into a bit of a buying guide of any used car, because this is a year old or 18 months old? Nine months old. Nine months old, Jesus yeah. Christ. Nine months old, it's got pretty low mileage, but the spec is ridiculous. Yeah. And I think this is surely one of the highest spec RS6s in the country. I think the only thing you can do to it is put carbon on the exterior. Right, okay, so the exterior carbon is being deticked. Yeah, Everything well, it's, it's not, yeah, it's like seven grand, I think, to get carbon exterior. Right. So this has got the gloss black or sand black or whatever yeah. it's called, styling yeah. pack, rather than the carbon. Okay, so you saying that you were going to wrap this blue, what you can do is get 4D gloss carbon wrap, Yeah. and then wrap all of the bits that he didn't get in. Oh, here we go. What's that like, having so much power on your right foot? Fun. <laughs> <laughs> The amount of people that I know that buy a car without doing research into the car, let alone the market, 
is quite scary and that's where you lose a hell of a lot of money yeah but what you did is like firstly seriously sensible and you didn't just go willy nilly hey look here's the money blah blah I want to buy it so I'm like I'm so excited for you that this is now your car how is it driving around here because I can imagine where you're from it probably would have been easier to drive probably more likely to get nicked (laughs) more likely to get stolen Yeah, how, are you, how are you coping them. navigating this tank around the roads? The one of the I biggest noticed when, I noticed when you did pull up, you were about three meters away from the curb because you're so nervous about the wheels. <laughs> <laughs> I have got that Left it. alloy wheel protection thing. Uh, have you got it? Yeah, <laughs> sensible, <laughs> sensible. Um, but. It's not too bad, to be honest. It's not as big as people think, and people go mental about big cars. My mum used to do it, yeah. and she probably made me a bit nervous. Like, my dad used to have an XF. Okay, um, yeah. And my mum had a Fiesta. Yeah, yeah, the XF And she'd be scared to drive the XF in case yeah. she bashed into something. Yeah. But it's like, it doesn't actually make that much difference, other than maybe parking and worrying if my arse is sticking out of a bay. Yeah. It doesn't really make any difference. Like, you just get used to how big your car is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has been incredibly cool to hang out with you and your new car I think you're going to be putting many many miles on this car and never having a sad face on when you step in (laughs) it (laughs) I think what you've been able to do to jump from a Corsa to an RS6 firstly is baller but at the second like you're living the dream like you're driving your dream car which is super cool to see and I think we should just set up a drag race from now on. Whatever car I buy next, I think we should have you a have drag to race. My RS6 I think we should have I think we should have a drag race. I feel like you'd lose quite a lot of them. Who hey, me? Yeah. Well it depends what car I'm doing this it. This is true. <laughs> most cars I mean you've got access to some pretty stupid cars. But most cars. Like this loads one of the things that everyone said to me is why are you buying an estate? You haven't got three kids. Yeah. And it's like other than like a Lambo or something like that, and even some, maybe some Lambos, it would actually beat off the line in a race. Yeah, it would. Like an I8, a... Yeah, a demolish an I8. Yeah. But for a first impression into this car, firstly, you've picked an amazing spec. So I'm glad you didn't go blue. I'm glad that you got this. We will find a nice day, and Andy is yet to find a car wash that he trusts. So... Um, once we've, do, once we've done that, then we'll be able to document how good this car looks yeah. in all of its glory. But for now, it has been awesome to catch up with you. It's been awesome to experience this car. So I know we'll point out as well before you go. Go on, go on. You're saying this is like my dream car and stuff like that. Yeah. It's pretty ridiculous that I've bought like my dream car when I'm 24. Yeah. But it's not as crazy as people seem to think. Like, in when I uploaded the video on Vayne, people seem to think like my mum bought me and stuff like that. And like, it's not that at all. No. It's just being sensible with your money. And obviously this is going to turn into like an economic rant. But like people are going crazy at the moment about the housing market for young people and whatever. Yeah. But if you're just sensible with your money yeah. and don't waste it and spend it on what you actually want to spend it on, eventually you will be able to buy a car like this if you don't spend £100 on a night out every Saturday. Yeah. Well, if you don't spend £100 on a night out every Saturday, you can basically buy yourself an RS5. Well, I mean, I stopped going out when I was about 20. Yeah. Like, even when I was going out, I wasn't spending money. If you just... Just mind sweeping. <laughs> <laughs> but do you know what I mean? If you don't waste money... Yeah, and I think... You can spend it on things that you want instead. Yeah, and there's no denying that so much hard work has gone in. You can see it from your yeah, channel. Yeah, obviously it's like hard like, work and luck and stuff as hell, but... Yeah. Just... Yeah, but the, I think luck comes from hard work because the opportunities... Yeah, you make your own luck. Exactly, you make your own luck. Opportunities present themselves from hard work. So I wouldn't downplay yeah. a million subs and 400 million views on YouTube. But that's what I would say to people is just don't be stupid with your money and work hard and you will be able to buy something like this as well yourself. Yeah. Good message to end on. Because yeah. that's kind of like my message that I, my whole channel is based on because I wouldn't be able to buy the cars that... I've had the awesome opportunity. Yeah, you've had some ridiculous cars, and you're yeah. not like Bill Gates or something like that. No, right? you're just sensible. sensible. Yeah. yeah, I just live at home with my mum. Yeah, 
got out though. Well, I don't anymore, so I'll do this. Because <laughs> I run out of money. <laughs> right, guys. Thank you for watching. And it's been a pleasure. We're going to go left here because there's some good roads up here. So, uh, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video. And uh, comment below, congratulating Andy on this absolute mental RS6 performance car. Go on. Pin it. What's the I don't know how fast it breaks yet, so we have to let the people know. Mate, the brakes on this car will be for good enough. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's so fun. The size of a tank. Right. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye.